afternoon, my beautiful viewers. Oh wait, it's morning still. I feel like I slept in really late, but I actually woke up at 9.30 and now it's 11.05. And today, I am coming with you again with another video. It is hashtag cooking with Kelly. And today, as you can see by the title, I am making homemade mango popsicles um yesterday i went to walmart and i got some popsicle mold and i'm like yo let me make some popsicles so let me tell you guys what you need okay so you need vanilla greek yogurt i got this brand here is the danone oikos and you can use whatever greek yogurt you want but i think this is like the best one comparing it to all the macros and stuff like that and since i am on a diet i do not want to use too much preservatives and like you know and i'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk and honestly this tastes exactly like the regular unsweetened almond milk doesn't taste like vanilla whatsoever but this is 35 calories it's by the organic almond preference brand oh wait it's organic but it's by almond preference i got that popsicle molds this comes in eight probably make like four or six we'll see and last but not least you cannot forget frozen mangoes this one here is nature's touch and this one is i don't it, i don't think it's organic but it says it's pesticide free and it's no sugar added so i got this from costco don't forget you also need a blender yeah that's important you need a blender so if you watch my previous video i actually made um banana peanut butter ice cream and i used my magic bullet and i'm gonna use my magic bullet again today because it has the little tube thing i wasn't showing my face <laughs> it has the little tube thing here as you can see um this thing goes in here and then you put it on top like this and then you use the little tube to kind of push all the product into the blade like that i have my measuring cups here i got these i think i got these from walmart or i think i got them from bulk barn but these were valentine's day ones and they're so cute these are the only measuring cups i have i had other ones i don't know where the hell they went but i've been using these ones they're so cute anyway so moving on i'm going to put one cup of mango i am eyeballing this so i don't really know if that's too much or too little there you go next i am going to put one fourth of a vanilla that didn't sound right i'm going to put one fourth cup of vanilla greek yogurt there you go plop that in there we shall see how this turns out because honestly i don't really know i really really do not know at all and then i'm going to put half a cup of almond milk yeah and there you go so this is the end result here it doesn't really look appealing at all but we're gonna start blending it and we shall see how it turns out I feel like it's too thick so I'm just going to add a little bit more almond milk just like a splash of almond milk okay so honestly I think this is a little bit too watery so I think I'm gonna add one quarter cup of almond milk and if you are actually making this I made a huge mistake and I should have put one full cup of almond milk instead of half a cup obviously if you do half a cup then it'll be a little bit thicker and you can have like a smoothie type um, mango dessert um, but if you want like actual liquid to pour into popsicles then a full cup 
would be best um, and I feel like depending on how much mango you put you put the same amount of almond milk so I put a cup of mango I should put a cup of almond milk so that's why I'm putting a uh, one quarter because I put a splash and I really don't know how much so I'm just putting one quarter just to be on the safe side so now I am all finished now all I have to do is pour these into the molds so I just finished rinsing out my molds cleaning them out and now it's time to pour this in I wonder how much I'm actually going to make oh fudge they're going everywhere I just finished pouring everything into the mold and if you guys were watching the previous clip you could see that I was getting it everywhere and that is another reason why it shouldn't be too thick it needs to be a little bit more watery by the time Tyrone comes home from work I am going to test these out I'm gonna give him one and see how it is I actually didn't try the batter but it smelled good so hopefully it's good so I'm obviously going to report back and let you guys know at the end of the day whether this was a success or a fail um, but I'm also going to add the recipe down below very very simple recipe so um, obviously it's not too hard to find yogurt milk and mango I'm just coming I can see you I see you oh, my tactical mission failed anyways he's here but he has work soon and look I made the mango sauce yeah and it and went everywhere. made a big mess too. yeah I did so at the end of the day I shall show you guys the result Tyrone will try it and my brother will too so yeah and I'll put the recipe down below for you guys if it's a success So my brother is trying it now. I don't know why the fuck it's so bright. You're getting the red one? Yeah. Okay, there. It's okay. It's not bad. You licked it, you didn't even bite it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's good? Okay. Uh, good. I'm back again. Honestly, this thing doesn't focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, Tyrome is running the popsicles under the water. And he's gonna try it! Oh, yeah. Previously, Newton tried it. And he said he liked it. But he didn't really like it as much as I wanted him to like it. And the reason being is because of the Greek yogurt flavor. He does not like Greek yogurt. So I think the Greek yogurt flavor is too overpowering. So now Tom's gonna try it, okay? You couldn't catch me on a better hair day, babes? God, man, I look like a true statistic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just try the damn right. popsicle. Taste this. I can't see the screen. I, I gotta see if I look fabulous. Anyways. You gotta take a bite. First of all, you have to take a suck. No poke. He's sucking. No poke, first of all. <laughs> okay. By the way, I think I told you guys previously that... Oh, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. But the recipe is going to be down below. I'm going to make a few changes just because this is my first time making it. And I'm like making my own recipe. I just put a whole bunch of things in the blender. So I will leave the ingredients and the instructions down below if you want to make this. But let's see his reaction. How do you like it? My arm's getting tired. It needs more mango still. It does, right? So I put too much yogurt. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. My brother, he doesn't. Oh no, it's pretty good. He doesn't like. But it needs more. It needs more mango. Yeah, he doesn't like yogurt. So I think I put too much yogurt. If I put less yogurt, then I think the flavoring of the mangoes will come up better because the Greek yogurt flavor is very, very powerful. Like I said, or, it is, or... right? You could taste a lot of Greek yogurt, right? I taste a lot of yogurt. Ah. Yeah, see? So, um, yeah, I'll fix that in the no, link. No, hold on, hold on. I mean, in the description down below. You try try putting a little bit of honey, too, because honey, honey enhances flavors. It'll, it'll help bring out the mango. I can try that next time. Mm. All right, I'm going to enjoy my popsicle. <gasps> popsicle! I'm probably going to have one, too. Um, But this will be the end of the video. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. 
we are gonna go walk Miko later because Tyrone's, I mean not Tyrone, Nugent's friend wants to use Miko as a prop for a promposal. So we're gonna go walk him outside and it's a beautiful day. Um, and I'm gonna have my popsicle and Tyrone actually ordered Uber Eats so he's gonna eat and then I think we're waiting for Newton's friend to come over after all that we are gonna go to the park and walk outside and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and going through with me through the trials and tribulations of this very very simple mango popsicle recipe making video anyways I'm gonna have one so I think next time I will perfect it and then I'll come back to tell you guys how it goes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. There's Miko. See you guys next time. Peace.